And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're going to review Cloud9. Cloud9 from Out of the Box Publishing actually came out um, several years ago, 2004, almost 10 years ago, but it's still a very good game. Let's take a look why. takes place with, you're going to be using a bunch of cards. These cards show different colors and this is one of those games I wish that they had made the, co the cards different for those who are colorblind, but it is what it is. They have yellow, green, blue, I mean not blue, yellow, green, purple, and red cards. And then there's a few wild cards thrown in for good measure. These cards are shuffled and each player is going to start with five. Everybody has a character in the basket and everybody has a score token down here. Now one person has chosen to go first and they are the first pilot. The first thing we do each turn is we're going to move the balloon to the next level. So the balloon goes to level one and if you look there at level one it shows that you're supposed to roll two dice. So uh, the, the one player who goes first is going to roll the dice. They roll the dice and we see what they've rolled. They've rolled a purple balloon which means from their hand they are going to have to play one purple card. Each person then in clockwise order decides whether they are going to jump out of the balloon, landing safely on the ground, I have no idea how, and scoring the points that are shown next here. So you hear yellow would get one point for jumping out of the balloon at that level. Everyone else stays in. We then look. The person who's piloting the balloon says, I do have a purple card. They discard that card. The balloon moves to the next level and dice are rolled at the next level. So again, it's two dice that are rolled here. And if you jump out here, you'll get two points. Now with this time when the dice were rolled, we see that uh, one red. And so everyone has to decide again whether to jump out. They don't jump out. The person plays a red card and the balloon proceeds. And this will keep happening. And as you can see, when it gets up to these levels here, for example, when you're on nine, you're gonna be rolling three dice. So the dice will be rolled and, uh, wow. Okay, one of them's blank, which is good. And sometimes they're all blank, which is fantastic. But here they need a purple or yellow. Orange decides to jump out because it's worth nine points. In fact, it's always possible for everybody to jump out and take points, except for the person who is piloting the balloon at that point in time. If the person who's piloting the balloon does not have the cards that they need to pilot it, then the balloon crashes. Everybody who is still in the balloon gets no point. Crashing the balloon, though, does give a card to every player. So that is a way that uh, cards can get around. And it's very possible and happens often that the balloon will crash even on level one because you simply don't have the cards that are shown. If you have the colors that are shown, you must play them with the exception if you have a wild. One wild covers everything. And so if you play a wild card, it will cover all the dice that are rolled. So even if I roll two blues or red and a yellow, then I will get all those points. And if the balloon makes it all the way up to 25, which is last level, then everyone who's still in the balloon gets 25 points, although I've not seen that happen too terribly often. The first person to get to 50 points is the winner. If multiple people get there in the same turn, you just loop around and whoever scores the most points is the person who wins the game. All right, first I'm gonna let Melody give her opinion. Uh, I like this game because I liked how you had to um, try to see um, if you would jump out at the right time or not. In the beginning, I was a wimp and I didn't really want to. I would always jump out. Jump like, out at level one. Losers, that's where losers jump. Level two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then after a while, I finally got enough courage to get up to like the sevens cloud or something and then died. Now what I do when I play is I, I, I never jump. I always try to stay in and make it go to 25. One of these, I'm a sucker for push your luck games and I always push my luck as far as it can go, uh, which is okay when there's not money on the line. And in this game, it's just so much silly fun. Uh, there can be a bit of group think in the game. If everybody starts jumping out at lower levels, one person really can't take the balloon all the way to the top. Uh, I mean, you can save your cards as the game progresses to some degree, but still, you're not going to make it to the top on your own. Although I've seen people when they get to the top two levels, they're like wild, wild, and then they make it to the top. And that's really neat. Uh, but the game does have that kind of, and sometimes the balloon, you're positive 
um, pause if Melody has one purple card because she has 10 cards in her hand. And then she does it and the balloon crashes. And it just, it's, 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 it's a really silly, simple game, but a game that I really, really enjoy. The artwork by John Kovlik is, is very fun and very, you know, easy um, uh, on the eyes and it, and it has that cartoon feel. But it, since the game goes up to six players, it's one that I like quite a bit. Any other thoughts? It was just a lot of fun, and the little basket was really. Oh yeah, that the component with the basket is a, is a neat is a neat addition to the game. So if you have uh, groups, this has worked well for me with kids and adults. This is when I do games at our church. This is always one of the ones that I usually throw in because it's just it's so easy for everybody to play. You simply say jump, yes or no, and <laughs> no, I will never jump, and then I die. <laughs> Cloud Nine from Out of the Box Publishing. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.